If you're trying to figure out what is going on in the Greenville, South Carolina real estate market, and you're trying to figure out as a buyer or a seller how you can take advantage of it, this is the video that you'll want to see. Hi, I'm Evan Whaley, your favorite Greenville realtor. What I want to do is give you a market breakdown in less than two minutes and then explain to you as a buyer or a seller what you should do with this information. One of my least favorite things is getting a whole bunch of data and then trying to come to a conclusion myself. So I want to give you the answers to that. But first, let's go ahead and talk through what's going on. So when we look at the local Greenville, South Carolina real estate market, I think there's really eight things that you need to know. The first, right now we're seeing that the number of homes that are being sold compared to 2022 is down 12%. So we have a little bit less demand out there. When we look at new listings, it's up 0.4%. So basically a flat line. We've got a little bit less demand, which again, we were in a really crazy market last year compared to the supply, which is pretty much the same. Next thing, where is that supply coming from? Over 51% of the homes being listed right now are new construction. That's a key thing and that's something you really want to know about. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that a little bit later. Number four, how long does it take for someone to sell a home? As a buyer, you want to know that house is been on the market longer than this, there's probably some issues, whether pricing or condition. Just to give you a realistic timeline, it's taking 44 days on average for a home to sell. Now, what's going on with prices? If we look at our median price compared to 2022, we're up 1.7%. If we look at our average price, we're up 3.2%. So home prices are going up and they're continuing to go up month over month. So we know that we're in a very healthy place for someone that owns a home right now. The last two things to talk about. Right now, when someone puts their house on the market, on average, they're selling it for 98.9% of what they list it for. Of course, some people are selling over, some people are selling below. This is really house location and price dependent but just something to keep in mind as a buyer so you know how much negotiating room you have and for a seller so you have realistic expectations of what you put the house on the market for, what you may receive. Last, the big thing that we look at in the housing market is supply and demand. And we look at months of supply. Anything at six months of supply, we call that a balanced market. There should be good home price appreciation. There should be enough options for buyers. Sellers are still happy because they're making good money. We're rarely at this place. If we're above that, what we start to see, if it's seven months or more, home prices are likely going down because there's way too much supply and this is what happened in the 08 crash for the demand that's out there and when we're below it we're in a competitive market the lower that number is the more competitive it is because just simple economic supply and demand right now in greenville we're about three months supply traditionally we always think of that as a seller's market so we are very much in a seller's market so it is a good time for a seller to capitalize on their equity in their home but for a buyer standpoint it's very different than it was compared to the last two and a half years because the supply is significantly higher than what it was. We're up over 140%. So it feels very, very different. Now that we've established all of this and we've looked at the data, what do you do with it? You know, if you're a seller out there right now and you're not in the home of your dreams, it is a great time to be in the resale market. If you can remember, I said it took 44 days on average to sell a home. Well, that factors in new construction, which I said is the vast majority of the inventory that's out there. So buyers really are looking for those resale opportunities. Not every buyer out there can wait three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, whatever it is to purchase a home. And there's a lot of buyers out there who want to live in established neighborhoods. They want the mature trees or whatever it may be. For those people in the resale market right now, and they're selling their home, it actually takes 30 days to sell their home on average. And they're getting some really great prices. So for a seller, if you're not happy in your home and you're thinking about selling it, it'd be a great time to capitalize on the market before more inventory comes out there. From a buyer's perspective, where can you win in this market? You know, it seems like, hey, I'm telling you it's a seller market. But if you remember, I told you that 51% of the inventory right now is in new construction. New construction right now is competing with each other because there's so much available options in the new construction realm. Well, yes, there is still a lack of inventory overall. There's a lot of new construction. We will sell more new construction this year in Greenville than we ever have, which is a good thing. We've needed the inventory. We need homes for people. But the builders know this and they don't want to be sitting there and holding on to all these houses because it costs them thousands upon thousands of dollars every month to hold on to this inventory. So they want to sell it, but especially right now as the summer's coming up and they know the market is hot and they're offering all these things they call like red tag specials and all these other things. We've helped a lot of buyers in the new construction space get some really great deals. They're getting interest rates from one, two, two and a half percent below what the market's being offered. They're getting closing costs paid for, they're getting blinds, appliance packages, and so on and so forth. I actually did a video about this recently where I go even more in depth on this. There's a buyer, that is a place where you can win big time. The other thing to consider 
consider as a buyer right now is yes, interest rates may be higher. There's a lot of other things going on that may not seem like it's as favorable. When interest rates do, if they do go down, there's going to be a massive flood of buyers that are going to come into the market. So it could be a great opportunity now to capitalize and buy a home. And if rates do happen to go down, you could refinance later and you will have gained all that equity that you would have missed out on. And then you can still have a really great rate that's at that market rate. You can choose to do that whenever you want. Those are some of the big ways that we're seeing buyers and sellers win in this market here today in Greenville. I'm curious, what did you find to be the most insightful thing or something that completely surprised you about what's going on in this market? Drop a comment down below. If you're interested in figuring out how you can win in this market, feel free to reach out to us. All of my contact information is here in the video and down below in the description.